Yes. Got one. Got him. He's big. Maddie he just got a fish. I'm in the lake. I'm gonna need your help. Oh, that's a good one. What is going on you guys? We are on our way to the lake. So the plan today is to see if we can get on a moving bait bite. But the lake we're going to, the bass are very, very finicky in it. If all else fails, we'll finesse fish and see if we can get a few bites. We'll catch you guys there. Guys, to start things off, I'm going to be throwing this spinner bait around. Check this guy out. He's just trying to eat in peace. All right, I'll leave you be, buddy. Oh, you don't have to hiss at me, dang. Doc just hold on and hissed at me like a snake. Man, if that ain't something to get you moving a little bit quicker. I'm just going to cover water. That's the plan right now with this guy. And then uh, I'll come back through with a more finesse presentation. Yeah, it's just so much vegetation. This thing isn't really rolling very well. Let me try something different real quick. Yep, there went a snake. Copperhead. It went down that way. When I tell you guys, I do not do snakes. And I'm wearing freaking flip-flops. My snake meters were going off too. Like I knew snakes around here somewhere. This truck will blow up. All right, guys. So I'm going to be trying this duck today. Um, I've never used a duck before, but I'm going to work it just like I would a frog, I guess and we're gonna see what happens so i saw a nice top water blow up and after looking i see the fish so we're gonna give this another go get it right to him see if he would like to blow up on that i saw a nice blow up right there i can see the fish too you can see the fish yeah is he big oh yeah he's decent well here i come Oh, yeah, he's a big one. Oh, he's coming towards my bait. If that duck gets bit. He's looking at it. Let me bring it back to him again. I can see him clear as day. He's still see him. All right, that scared him a little bit. He's going the other way now. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, shit, I got one chasing this. Oh, why did he why did he turn oh my god that's a big one right there that's a big one oh he's coming up right to it he's coming right to it nope swim away he's big i'm gonna try okay i see you oh, he's going for it he's going for it he's going for it he bite it. Uh uh. He's, he's up, 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 up. He he's biting it. He he's biting it. it. You guys ready? Yes. That was a good one, too. Ooh. I'm going to need your help. Come over here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes. This guy is biting. Ooh. That's a good one, Ray. Yeah, that's a very good one. Okay, he's from running into the bush. He's got me snagged. Oh, he's in the muck. Is there any way you can come over here? Not sure. Uh, I don't know what's all up in here. Yeah. The things I do. Just grab that stick. He's on. I'm in the lake. in the f lake. <laughs> we need a net. He's big. <sighs> yeah. Come close. Bring that line. Come here. Got him. Woo wee. Oh, that's a beast. I'm in the lake. 
<sighs> you guys, I could not have done that without Maddie. This is our fish, not my fish. I like stole her catch and then had to get her help. Gosh, guy, you dog walked me. All right, scale time. You guys, I'm gonna guess four and a half pounds. You just call a four and a half pound fish, four nine. Over four and a half pounds. Beautiful, um, beautiful fish. These four pounders will really hurt your hand after a while when you're holding them for so long. But it's time to let this beauty queen go. There she goes, back into the depths of the dark water. Well guys, that was definitely the biggest bass I've hooked in this water. So it tells me there are bigger in here, which is a great sign. Figured there probably was just because these fish are super healthy. Even the smallest of fish in here just looks so healthy. But I can't take credit for that catch all on my own without Maddie. <laughs> She's still out of breath. She like, I'm wearing flip-flops and full shoe drive. Is full drive. The other shoe is not full drive. She literally had to go into the lake to help me get this fish. I came out ready to catch maybe a two pounder, two and a half, but a four and a half pound fish. I was not ready for so it dogged me it ran me up into all kinds of crap and without this girl right here it wouldn't have happened so that was definitely our catch i hooked it she did the rest but we're gonna see if we can make it happen again with fish number two so that fish was able to swim away healthy so hopefully she will grow and become even bigger and make a lot of other anglers extremely happy when they come out and have a chance at getting her we're gonna see if there's any more that size or bigger in here this is a spot when we do come here, we always check right here. It's right off the dock too, it's perfect. You got this point that comes out right here. You got this little branch that comes in and it's just a very good recipe for the bass to be scattered up right in this area. I'm gonna throw around this just to see if anything might want a moving bait. Oh, vegetation, this thing is just getting hooked up on all kinds of vegetation. Yeah, I, I'm not able to work this the way it needs to be worked. And the only other type of moving baits we have have treble hooks on them, which would be even worse than this. So we're gonna make a switch. That brush hog was doing it for us. So I'm such a finesse person. I love to finesse fish. Maddie's much more of a power fisher. When I tell you I'm a slow, I like to fish slow, I mean it is painfully slow, but it works. There goes another. It's the same truck. And that truck has just been through here. That's the second time now they come through like burning wheels. <laughs> that guy's trying to show off. Whatever, your transmission, not mine. I knew if we were patient with that brush hog though, I knew we could make something happen. Guys, the amount of fish I've seen that won't hit anything else, but then you cast this brush hog right near them, just let it set. The bass will hear it when it hits the water and they come and check it out. The amount the bass I've caught doing that, it's just insane. There's so much topwater activity out there. I, yeah. Oh my God, guys, I didn't realize I had one. He just took that. Again, this is what, you, what happens when you let the brush hog just chill and do its thing. Ooh, okay, okay. It's decent, okay. Hi, buddy. I didn't even like realize you were on. I'll take it though. Beautiful fish. Definitely not the last one we had, but still a quality fish, guys. That's every bit of a pound. All right, hopefully you guys can see. And there he goes. All right, so that was kind of a surprise catch. I literally was reeling in because I was gonna switch and go Put something else on but when i lifted up to reel in he was on that fish definitely put up a nice little fight too for his size i talked to maddie she said she had one but he came off right at the bank spit the hook there are two bass right here i'm gonna cast this out and see if they're interested in this I was making my way back to Ray, but I always like to look close near the banks, make sure I'm not missing any fish. Saw two of them sitting right here. Nope, missed them. But honestly, they might be able to see me if I can see them. Mm. Got one. 
Oh, no, he got off right at the bank. Definitely would be a fool to take this thing off right now. I'm going to keep it on, but I am going to go back up here because it still might be too soon to get on a good topwater bite. But I'm hoping if I just throw it consistently, maybe I can get on one. So let's go put the chopper on. Yeah, I promise you guys stay tuned because we're going to have some fun with this guy this summer. I'm going to walk keep my distance and I love animals so I'm just trying to be respectful and not stress them out I'm in their habitat and I keep walking past them even though I know I have good intentions and don't mean no harm they don't know that so all right I'll choppy get something done for us oh horrible cast oh he's just spinning what's going on with you guy I see it's stuff up in his little rotator That sucks. He's the only one we have on us right now. But yeah, he's running really crooked and doing all kinds of crazy spin things. Yeah, this ain't happening. I think we're just gonna stick with the brush hog for today and uh, we'll be back out here. I'm gonna see if I can fix this guy, figure out why he's running crooked. It's probably something to do with either this or this being bent from one of the fish we caught last time on it. And we're gonna head back up here. Oh, we're gonna respect the ducks and take the long way around. Oh, that was a bite. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, we let go. Ah, oh, man. Oh, 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 got him. <laughs> this ain't a bad one, guys. Might need Maddie's help. Maddie! All right, let's see. I don't know if we can flip it. All right, guys, I'm holding it like this. There's no way for me to get down there to grab it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is wait for Maddie to come get this fish. Yeah, he's big. Like at least three pounds, maybe bigger. Right here at the bank, you cannot miss it. All right, guys, thank God for Maddie again. Okay. Oh, come here. Oh. Wow. What the hell, right? Thank God for Maddie, guys. Thank God. I literally, you guys look, another I couldn't even jump over this. I would break my legs. Another, another monster. Over this, I would break my legs. Another freaking monster. Yeah. Another big one. Four pounds, two ounces. Another four pounder. This one is a little bit smaller than the first. So I got on flip flops and even though this heel, it probably doesn't look that steep to you guys. It really is. And I'm sliding, so I'm gonna let Maddie do the honors. Thank God for her. Cause again, I could not get this fish in without her. <laughs> it is so hard to release big fish here. Oh, there she goes. Thank you. What would I do without you? You're welcome. <laughs> Another great catch that was a team effort. Neither one of us really wore good shoes today. We just really didn't come prepared. So we're doing our best. The most important thing is all the fish have been healthy and took off just fine. And that's what we care about. And just so you guys know, Maddie and I do not fish private places. This is all public. This place is actually overly fished. And if we ever do in the future, I will say so. I will let you guys know this is a private whatever lake pond. I don't think there is any private rivers. <laughs> Be nice. Maybe sections on the river. You ready to get in that water? I'll do whatever I gotta do to help you out, sis. Maybe she's getting a bite. All right, let me come down here. Maddie just got a fish. Another good one. Another nice one? Uh, hey, he's a fish is a fish. So we're gonna help Maddie out by landing this guy. You can pull the string on this one. Look at this. Nice one. Yeah. All right, don't, don't, don't go crazy. Let me get this out of you. You know what, let's just take Maddie her fish. Nice one. Damn. Feisty little guy. Feisty. We like feisty fish. Thanks, buddy. And he is gone. Good job. 
Well guys, that is it for the day. We did not get on the moving bait or the top water bite we were hoping for, but we were still able to catch fish and that's what matters. We're gonna have to come back out here and see if there's an even bigger one in here, which I have a strong feeling there is. I'm gonna guess there's at least an eight pounder in here somewhere and we're gonna find him. But we will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.